Hello everyone, this is group 5's video for our final project. The title of our project is Real-Time Environmental Noise Reduction and Voice Enhancement Using Deep Learning. The video is mainly divided into six parts, background information, existing model, dataset, proposed model, real-time problem, and conclusion. Okay, let's come to the background part. Since most of computers and webcams on the market have integrated mono microphones, this kind of mono microphone cannot do a good job of noise canceling. Therefore, we plan to make a system that can cancel noise and enhance voice in real time using a mono microphone. The traditional idea of denoising can be represented as voice activity detection, noisy, spectral estimation and spectral subtraction. We try for many models in this project. Considering the real-time performance and the denoising quality, many models are not suitable for our, uh, for our project. Finally, we build our own model based on Google's model. The model uses both RNN cells and CNN cells to denoise. Okay, let's see some test examples. The first one is noisy voice. Nobody in the world can get away from it. The second is the clean voice. Nobody in the world can get away from him. And the result of traditional denoise method. Nobody in the world can get away from him. Okay, let's come to the next section. In this section, we, look, we would like to introduce some models we tried. The first one is cascading LSTM model. LSTM model is a special implementation of RNN. The cell state is controlled by three gates, input gate, output gate, and forget gate. LSTM model is very simple and the performance is not good enough compared with other larger or newer models. So that we also tried another new model, which is RN noise. In RN noise, it uses GRU unit because GRU behaves better than LSTM in denoising. As our experiment uh, on RN noise, its noise reduction performance is better than LSTM cascading model, and is fast, and the model is small and convenient. However, it is not good at non-stationary noise, so that we try the third model, the WaveNet. WaveNet model can predict the result of the t point according to the first t minus one points of a sequence. So it can be used to predict the value of sampling points in speech. WaveNet uses dilated convolution. The output layer uses softmax. The noise reduction performance of WaveNet is even better than RN noise. However, the model size is too large. It's not suitable for a real-time system. Okay, let's come to the dataset collection part. For dataset collection, we get two solutions. The first solution is using the existing data. We do some great data sets with clear voice and voice mixed with noise. However, mixed data in the data set has different SNR, and we don't know what's the specific value of it. So that we also create a data set by ourselves. We use clear voice data and noise searching from website and mix them together to get a training set with certain SNR. So let's go to the next part. Proposed model. After we examine those existing models like RNN noise and WaveNet, we find that all of them are not suitable for our project. So we cannot use them directly how to construct a model that is fast and performs well. That's the first big problem we met. I got an idea once I saw a paper from Google. We can combine the convolutional layer and a recurrent layer. The convolutional layer will provide more features to the RNN. This may be the solution to a real-time denoising system under non-stationary noise. 
However, this model is not designed for real-time processing. Its input is 3 second audio features and video frames. We cannot wait 3 seconds. So, based on this architecture, we proposed our model. The first thing is we removed all video related parts, but the convolutional layer in the audio part remained. Secondly, hyperparameters were adjusted to achieve real time processing. Then, the input now is 500 millisecond short time Fourier transform features. The number 500 is the key point to real time processing. I will discuss this later with details. After many attempts, the new model now has 7 millisecond inference time and only has about 2 milliparameters. It is small enough for real time processing. Now it's time to see the performance. So first, let's create an impression of SNR. SNR means signal to noise ratio. Let's listen to some demos. Nobody in the world can get away from him. We recognize the important role of golf in attracting visitors. Their courage and their honesty should be respected. They were described as being in a serious but stable condition yesterday. So lower SNR value means more noise in the audio. For the simple RN model, it can denoise audio of 11 dB. RN noise 5 dB. WaveNet 2.5 dB. So WaveNet has the best performance. Let's compare with WaveNet directly. Today I couldn't run on it. 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 We were surprised to see the photograph. 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 Since red and green light when mixed form yellow. Since red and green light when mixed form yellow. Since red and green light when mixed form yellow. Since red and green light when mixed form yellow. Some have accepted it as a miracle without physical explanation. Some have accepted it as a miracle without physical explanation. Some have accepted it as a miracle without physical explanation. Some have accepted it as a miracle without physical explanation. So I think it is clear to see that our model of auto performance wave net and our model only use a quarter of parameters of the wave net. I believe that's a notable victory. So next, I will talk about real-time processing. This paper indicates that humans can tolerate up to 200 milliseconds latency. So our goal is 200 milliseconds. Then how? How to achieve this kind of high-performance denoising system in real time? That's a big challenge. We cut the original speech audio into 100 millisecond segments. Once the speaker finished this segment, we will concatenate this block with four previous blocks to create a new input data. Then we feed this data into the network. The inference stage will take about 75 milliseconds, and all other stuff like short time Fourier transform and inverse short time Fourier transform will take about 5 milliseconds. Then we can get the output audio wave. So the total latency is about 180 milliseconds, which is below the upper limits, 200 milliseconds. Conclusion. We proposed a high performance real-time denoising system using convolutional layers and recurrent layers. Its performance is better than the most advanced publicly denoising system. Thank you for listening.